Happy Thursday and Vlogmas Day. So today is a very exciting day because Domo's has her school production. Last year she didn't do them, so we're really excited because this we would have waited like two years to see it. Um, so it's going to be really fun and I can't wait. It won't be until much later tonight though. Yes, yeah, so it's Christmas theme, but it won't be too much later tonight. So I'll show you what I get up to during the day, but we're going to do Evans now. Six, where are you? We just dropped something. Right, get your shirt ready. Is she ready? Hold on. Get it out. <gasps> it's a snowman. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. <gasps> what is it? What is it, like a notepad? Oh, they're post-it notes, Dawnie. That's perfect to help you remember things. That's it pretty cool. Mega. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So what could you write in there to help you remember? What do we um, need to remember? Hmm. Wake up. When, after I woke up, brush your teeth and then medicine good idea so we can do that and stick it on in front of your face can't we <laughs> not on your face but like somewhere where you'll see it when you wake up is what i mean to go to school now bye today it's not getting off to a good start um there was no signal on my phone on the way to school and now i have no mobile data and apparently it happened to my brother as well and it's um like a nationwide thing or something I'm a bit concerned though because if the signal drops again the school won't be able to call me so if it does do it again I'm gonna have to literally just go and sit on a wall near her school so that if they need me they can just come out and get me um don't really know what to do that's quite scary um but I just went to the shop I needed some more wrapping paper and I picked I picked this up in Primark for four pounds it's just a little throw it's green to match our lounge um it's quite cute uh, it's not very big, but it's going to be big enough just for us to put over us on the couch uh, because we have a blanket covering the couch, which we keep using for snuggles instead. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I have a couple of things to sort out and then I'll see what I get up to later. I'm currently waiting for a taxi. Dawn's school signed and she's complaining of chest pains and she's been crying. So I've got to wait for a taxi now to see if she's okay. She's not in an ambulance and they won't call one until I get there. So I'm panicking a little bit. Hey everybody, so it is now quarter to nine at night. Um, today did not go as planned. Um, around 10.38 this morning I got a call from the school and the minute they said hello and the, who was calling um, I knew that something was very wrong because I could hear it in their voice um, and they told me that Dom Louise had been brought into the first aid room um, she'd been quite hysterically crying with pain in her chest and as you will know if you've watched this before Dom Louise has a heart condition called hyperplastic left heart syndrome um, it means that she's left, missing the left side of her heart and it is a terminal lifelong chronic illness um, to name a few ways to describe it <laughs> Um, which means that at any point something could very badly go wrong and she is at risk of heart attacks and cardiac arrest so any kind of chest pain is very serious for her. Um, she, this only ever happened once before in her life. She was three years old and it was like 11 o'clock at night and she woke up and she was just screaming in agony, grabbing her chest and falling to the ground as she tried to get to me. Um, 
and we never got answers then as to why that had happened. Uh, we were in hospital from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. and nothing could be found. And unfortunately, today is a similar situation. Um, so, I unfortunately I don't live very close to Don Louise's school, um, which is a bit of an issue. Um, so I did have to get a taxi. It's only a 10 minute from taxi. Um, and thankfully the roads were clear, but that's still a long time when something so serious is going on. Um, the school called an ambulance whilst I was on my way down. Um, and I did thankfully beat the ambulance because otherwise I wouldn't have been there with her and that would have really hurt because no one else would be legally allowed to get in the ambulance with her. So, um, when I got to her, she was extremely cyanosed, which means that if, again, if you've watched before, you'll know that Donnelly's has a blue tinge to her lips, hands and feet. Um, and that is due to the low oxygen that she has. Her range has to be between 75 and 85. A healthy child or adult is more like 90 to 100. Um, so, uh, first thing I did was check her oxygen levels um, with our machine. So after seeing Dolores was more cyanosed on her um, lips, her entire lips were purple and her cheeks had gone like this bluey purple colour um, and her whole entire hand had, normally it's just the fingertips for her, so the fact that her whole hand was blue was not a good sign. So I got out our machine here, it's called a pulse oximeter, you've probably seen them in hospitals before if you've been in hospitals. Um, and it just measures your oxygen and your heart rate and Dawn Louise's heart rate was high and her oxygen was low um, and there was a good trace so we know that those were accurate readings. Um, so we called back the ambulance to let them know that she is destatting which means losing oxygen um, and that the chest pain is still there and she is not looking like her normal self. She was unable to sit up and be fully alert, she was kind of leaning on the wall trying really hard not to cry because crying can affect saturation so the fact that she'd been crying already was already putting her at risk um thankfully the pain wasn't um quite as severe as the last time that this sort of thing happened um but obviously she was still scared this hasn't happened as far as she remembers this has never happened before so it was a scary situation for her so i tried to stay um as upbeat as possible and i joked around with her and i was like tickling an eye under her chin and everything just to try and get her to stay you know happy and calm now one of the things that really made this tricky is that today we were supposed to be going to her school to watch her perform her christmas play um and concert she had been rehearsing for this for like a month she's got a costume she's got a part in it she was so so excited to show it to us because they didn't get to do one last year so it really did hurt that it happened today because this is like one of the worst parts about being a heart family is that it is so scary to look forward to things because things go wrong so quickly like this morning when i sent her to school she was perfectly fine first couple of hours at school she went to school at half eight this morning so for the first two hours she was completely fine um and that's what i mean like all it took was a couple of hours and so much changed drastically um so her saturations went down to 72 and then slowly they came back up thankfully but they had been below which was risky for her which meant that we need to get the ambulance sooner so we called them back and they said okay we're gonna get you one on high alert um they're gonna put the sirens on they'll be with you in at least three minutes um and thankfully they did arrive a first responder first um and they checked her saturations and everything we had a chat about her condition and what had been going on and they were going to give her oxygen and then um the ambulances and paramedics showed up so um, they took her over, they decided not to give her oxygen because it was fluctuating so much between in and out of her range They didn't want to give her it if she didn't need it um, Thankfully she was able to go the day without having oxygen Which is a big deal because the last time that we were in hospital she had to stay in overnight over oxygen So that was a big step for us So, so whilst we were still at the school um, waiting on the ambulance Don Louise said that she needed to go to the bathroom So I went to take her and she couldn't go And then when she went to stand back up she was almost sick, she was, was sort of gagging, which is worrying because heart pains and sicknesses, um, they're not good when they go together. That can be a problem also because she really, really needs to make sure she doesn't lose fluid and that she doesn't lose weight because both of those affect um, her heart and her medicine. So it's very important that we obviously keep an eye on that for her as well. Um, so when the ambulance came, they put her on the stretcher and um, um, we got into the ambulance and unfortunately she was sick again and this time she was actually sick um, she only brought up water though um, 
then we got to the hospital and she was waiting to be given observations and she was sick again and this time she filled up a whole cardboard like bowl thing they have for sick um sicknesses and stuff um she filled that all up and it was purely just water there was nothing there was no bile no food nothing like that in it even though she'd eaten already that day so it was bizarre that it was just water um now they think that the, the reason that it was just water is because she'd already digested the food that she had eaten which meant that she digested it pretty quickly as well which is um, a good sign because at least then she had energy in her from the food um, because kids like don't always say do struggle with how much energy they have so losing that would have been really bad um so after they checked her saturation her blood pressure everything was sort of back to normal and um, but her color was still really dark so we did end up having to stay um, we got, um, we didn't get moved to a ward, we just stayed in the assessment unit on their bays um, and we had various tests done. Uh, she had to have an ECG, an electrocardiogram, which she's very used to. They just put little stickers on you and then they clip wires to it and it makes the like wiggly lines on paper to show um, the heart's rhythm because it is very important that we watch that because a lot of children with HIHS do end up having pacemakers and uh, rhythm problems so it is important that we make sure that those are clear. Unfortunately, the nurses in our hospital aren't specialists. We have to go to another city for the specialists. So no one on the ward knew how to read her ECG and know that it was okay because hers is already very different to what they are used to. So that meant that we have to wait. We had to wait a long time because they had to phone the actual specialist hospital and um, get them to look them over. Uh, so thank God for emails or that wouldn't have been a possibility and we would have had to have gone, have gone to the specialist hospital. So um what else happened she had her height and weight checked and that was all fine and um, they had her have eight milligrams of dolerite every five minutes for i think it was like two hours so it was like hard to keep track of it because five minutes is not a long time by the time that you're done giving it you're pulling it back up again um and then she was sick at about 140 um so uh lowered it to five milliliters and then um they tried, decided to try her with food because she was feeling hungry and thankfully she wasn't sick. Thankfully she that was the last time that she was sick was at 140. So she, um, I'm trying to remember everything, it, oh, it's all just blurring into one, it's been a long, long day. Um, so yeah, uh, she, she had cheese sandwich and some chopped chip biscuits or something like that, I think they were. Um, and then she started drinking juice and she was drinking a lot of it so she was clearly feeling the thirst but thankfully she was not sick since 1 30 and it is now it's now five to nine so she's gonna while without being sick thankfully now the weirdest thing is that we have no answer as to what happened we don't know why she wasn't able to go to the bathroom and that lasted for a while as well um we don't know why she wasn't able to go to the bathroom we don't know why she was throwing up water we don't know why she had chest pain. We don't know what caused the chest pain. We don't know where the chest pain was coming from or what type it was because she can't describe the feeling, the sensation that it gave her. All she can say was it hurts, um, which is a problem because they need to know if it's a squeezing or a pulling pain because it, then it just it can sort of tell them what it could be. Um, and all she could say was it, it hurts and uh, where it hurt. So that wasn't really enough information for them to go off. So they um, sent the information uh they did a urine test as well just to make sure that she hadn't picked up some sort of bug because if she had that would explain what was going on um so yeah they tested it a lot of things and nothing really came back unusual which is unusual um her saturations stayed quite good i am going to thankfully now that we have this because we didn't have one of these before and it stayed like this and i'm so thankful that we do have this because this is literally letting me sleep because I can put this on her overnight, it will monitor and alarm if things change. So if her saturations do go, I can get her an ambulance because otherwise without this, I would not be going to bed. I know I am exhausted, but I would stay up to make sure that she was okay because I can't have her go the whole night without oxygen if she ends up needing it. So I'm very thankful that we have this and that is thanks to a lot of our, our subscribers and lovely people around the world. So seriously, thank you. Because on days like this, this is a literal lifesaver for us. Thank you so much for helping us get this, honestly. Thank you. So um, I'm pretty sure that I've covered everything. If I haven't, I'll add it into tomorrow's video because 
this is what this channel is it's to raise awareness and get people to sort of understand what we go through and that just because you don't look sick or disabled doesn't mean that you aren't and my life is not as easy as sitting around waiting all day because this is why i'm sat around waiting all day i'm waiting for the phone call that my daughter needs an ambulance and it is incredibly frightening when you get those calls because you're not there and you can't be there like i wish that i could work in her school but then obviously she wouldn't learn very much she'd be stuck to me so yeah tomorrow i've got to get a call from the liaison nurses at the specialist hospital from her cardiologist and i need to contact the gp to see if they can do anything to help us monitor her um and the most important thing is that the ecg comes back normal there is a chance that her cardiologist may want to see her sooner than when he's meant to which is in about four months and this is kind of scary because if you go back and watch our videos in the HRHS playlist, we were in the hospital three times in ambulances three times in May this year. Um, and on the last one, the cardiologist decided to bring her nine monthly cardiology appointment down to six months. So if he wants to see her sooner, it would be a little bit scary because there are things that we talked about in the last um, appointment, like um, sedosis MRIs and cardiac catheters because there could be something going on that no one can see from the outside um, because her disability is on the inside and your bare eyes aren't going to pick up on it, um, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed and hope the door up to this. She is thankfully now asleep. Um, since it was so late when we came home, it was quarter past eight. She normally goes to bed at seven. So I, with the, everything that's been going on today, I don't feel like rushing her around in the morning is going to do her much good. So I don't want her to miss like too much school. So instead of missing the whole day, um, I've decided that I will let her sleep in until she wakes up on her own. Let her eat breakfast at her own pace, let her get dressed at her own pace <coughs> and then get a taxi to the school. And hopefully she will only be there like an hour later than normal or something. Um, I'm, I'm sure they understand us taking a day off, but Dawn always misses so much when she's sick. I don't want to take it to two days off unless she really needs to, even though I am scared because if this happens again tomorrow i've got to try and get to her again and it's just scary not knowing if you've got enough time to get there like i don't want her to be in an ambulance alone i don't want her to be in hospital alone and i mean we've had to get two taxis now today so they weren't cheap and now i'm running out of money and i had to buy lunch in the hospital because i hadn't eaten since 6 a.m because it wasn't lunch time yet so i hadn't had my next meal um i didn't have I had a wrap at six o'clock, no, five o'clock, 5.30ish. I had a wrap at 5.30ish and that's all I was able to eat up there. So, but yeah. yeah, I'm really hoping that we don't end up there again this weekend because I don't know how we'll afford it. It's it's hard to pay for all these things last minute. Um, and yeah, it just, I think what makes this even worse is that she, she was gonna have the show like, with the things that I've booked throughout December, we could always book on for another day or something or do it next year. Whereas this was her last ever school performance. Um, as far as I know, I don't think she's gonna do it in year five and six because um, they were performing for the five and six year olds and the ones below them. So um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this was her last chance to do a school production which is a very sad thing really. I, I was really looking forward to seeing her doing it. She'd been practicing and she this morning she was running around and she was so, so excited. And it just hurts so much when that excitement just falls out, you know? It's just, I remember her little face this morning, just lighting up over it. She was just so excited to have um, her godmom and I can watch her and singing out to her heart's content and her friend's mums who have been really supportive of um, Don Louise being different, if for lack of a better word. Um, we've had some mums be really, really, really lovely with it and respectful of what Don Louise will and won't talk about and making sure that the friends that she has are respectful about that as well. Um, and they, they were saying that they will look forward to seeing her up there as well as their own kids, which is really sweet. So yeah, it's a bit of a sad day. Um, December's December got off to a really great start and then everything just went wrong today and uh, I've got to admit there is one thing that I'm extremely thank thankful for though and that is that this morning I had no signal for the like first half an hour that Dawn was at school so god forbid if something had happened whilst I had no signal she would have been in ambulance and in hospital alone and that would have been really scary because she can't 
without her, her own needs. So it is pretty scary um, to think that I may not have got there in time or, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't bear thinking about. But um, obviously I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Um, but yeah, this is a little insight into the less fun side of our life. We do have some fun things coming up this weekend, which the doctors have said she's fine to do as long as she's fine in herself. Um, so I think I'm going to keep her in her wheelchair just to make sure that her body isn't overdoing it. Um, because this morning when she was complaining of the chest pain, she was just sat in English class. Um, she hadn't been doing any exercise or anything, no stress work, um, like body stressed, um, overworked sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we really are stumped as to what happened today and what caused it. And if it will happen again, we don't know. So we really just have to wait and see and see what happens. And I just really, really, really hope that it, nothing else happens. I really hope that this is it for now. Um, I, just, I just want her to enjoy her life. And I just, it's really hard to not feel like every time that you have these beautiful days out planned or big milestones, it just feels like they're getting ripped out from underneath you. Like, there's nothing worse than not knowing what's wrong with a child with such a serious illness because if we miss something or we, we figure it out late it could very well be too late and that is scary so the fact that she's had chest pain is pretty worrying because yeah i don't know we just have to hope that it is nothing too serious but we'll find out tomorrow and i'll let you know tomorrow well it'll be the next day for you but yeah Thanks to everyone who um, messaged us on Instagram to say that you hope she feels better. We really appreciate that. It gave her a little smile in the hospital, just knowing that people were thinking about her. And uh, although we're not religious, we also really appreciate the people who did say they were praying for us. Um, even though it's not something I personally believe in, I do really respect and um, I'm thankful and grateful that we have people that care that much about her to um, do that for her. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go now. Um, I won't be premiering this video because I don't want to have to talk through it. I just I feel like that would be like mm, I don't know. It wouldn't feel good. I don't think so. I won't premiere this video like I have been doing the other ones, but I probably will um, with the ones that we're doing this weekend because I'm really excited for Don Louise to get her surprises. Um, and the reason that they're surprises is because then if something like this happens, I can just be like, oh, it's cancelled. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> and not have her feel like she's missing out because I just want her to enjoy life. I don't want her to feel like she's missing out on everything. But yeah, sorry it's not a happy, it's not a happy day today, but do you know what? Can you comment down below and just tell me the best thing that happened to you this day? Even if it was just, oh, I got five minutes on the couch with a cup of tea. I just, I, I want to take the negativity out of this day and just focus on the good thing so my good thing that happened today was i got this lovely very soft blanket for just four pounds it was a bargain and oh my god it's so soft honestly it's it's the softest thing ever it's so soft and we got to come home so focus on the positive not the negative you know we'll see you tomorrow